Hey guys, Nick Madrid here. Welcome back to my channel. This is my buzz cut hair tutorial. I'm going to show you guys how to do a proper buzz cut. And if you guys don't follow me on Instagram already, follow me at Nick Madrid. I have several hairstyles on there that you can look through. Let's get right into it. So the first thing you're going to do is adjust the lever on the clippers. I usually do all the way down to where the blades are closest to the scalp, but in this one, I'm going to do halfway. So in this tutorial, I'm actually using a number one, one eighth, three millimeter guard on the clippers so I shave up to the crown of my head and I do that all the way around first and then I will continue with the top just something to remember uh, the hair behind your ears is a little tricky to see so make sure you pull the ear down and scoop into that crevice where the bone is make sure you get that hair otherwise people are gonna notice it. it's gonna grow out long and you probably will notice it later if you have light hair like me uh, make sure you pay attention to the front of your hairline closest to your forehead because you might miss those hairs since they're so light so make sure you pay attention to that Now moving on to the top, my blades are pretty well lubricated so I'm able to do this quite quickly. Make sure you're just kind of taking it slow because a lot of people will pull their hair depending on the type of hair you have. Mine is very straight and, and fine so it comes off pretty easily. Also make sure you're dumping the hair on the ground otherwise it will cause your clippers to stall and pull your hair which is pretty painful. Just try to look around for any hair that's uneven and go over the top of your scalp, the sides. Later on we'll go over the entire scalp just to make sure everything's even. Now when doing the back it's important to go over it a few times because we do have some dips and grooves in the back of your head where your neck is. I usually place my finger on the actual blade and push as I go up lightly of course. If you push too hard, you risk the chance of pushing the actual guard off, which could definitely ruin the haircut. Rub your hand over your head, the back, the front, the sides. Just see if you feel any uneven spots, any patches that you might have missed. If you have a head like mine, a lot of barbers will pull the skin just to make sure they can get close enough to the scalp to make sure all the hair is even. Once again, I'm going to go over everything and make sure I get behind the ears. Any little hairs that I see are fairly long, I'm just going to try to get. It does take a while, this is about a 15 minute process, making sure everything is even, making sure you got all those little hairs and especially the front of your hairline. I come from the sides, I go from the back, I go from the front, just to make sure I get all those little hairs that might be growing that I can't see, especially since I'm a dirty blonde and it's fairly hard to see a lot of tiny hairs on my head. I don't wanna miss any of them. Also, calyx become difficult, so go over any calyx that you might have in the back a few times because the hair is uneven back there. It may look weird. You don't notice it, but other people do. And there we have it so far, looking good all the way around. Pretty even, I'd say. Now, when it comes to the back, like I said, I just recently had a haircut, so my line is pretty decent, but you might need someone else to help you round or square the back. For now, I'm pretty happy with it, so we're going to take a shower, get all that hair off, and we'll see what it looks like when I'm done. So now that we wash all the hair away, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, like I said, the key is going over several times, making sure you get all the crevices. My last step is usually moisturizing. I use this Moroccan Argan Oil. It's 100% organic. It repairs basically any damage I did with the clippers to my scalp. One pump of it and I just rub it around. It's very, very concentrated. It just makes your head feel smooth. It makes your hair feel smooth and it's great for it. So here we have it, pretty simple, pretty easy process. It took about 15 minutes and this is what we got. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe right here if you like this and let me know what you guys think. Comment, like, and I will see you guys soon.